So the THX Spiralicious looks a little something like this which is basically like a bubble wand kind of. This can be bought in Tesco's for £25, but I'm gonna show you how you can use it to create a really easy, effortless look. Um, I'm starting with my hair really natural, which is kind of wavy anyway, but I'm gonna kind of add to that and take it down and sort it out a little. So basically, this is a spiraling wand, which looks slightly provocative, but it's not. It's ceramic coated, so it heats up really quickly. It's to 220 degrees, which I think is a really good temperature. That's pretty much the same as GHD, which not many curling wands actually get to that hot. Um, obviously, it means that it does everything a lot quicker. You don't really need to leave it on your hair as long, which is perfect. It's also got the little clamp, so you can clamp your hair in, but I prefer not to. I'm gonna use it sort of like a curling wand rather than like a clamp. It also comes with a protective glove for if you want to wrap your hair around and this bit is like rubberized so it's like easy to hold and it doesn't slip around. It also comes with this really handy little leaflet which tells you all about how to use it and a protective glove. So first things first I'm just going to take my hair out of its little top thing so it looks a little bit like this and I'm going to part it as close to the middle as I can get without it actually being in the middle. Now I have got kind of like a shelf in my hair which isn't ideal because my hair here is like a lot shorter so I'm going to try and sort of like disguise that. And the first thing I'm going to do is spray it with this macadamia healing oil which is my favourite product to use for giving hair some condition and it also acts as a kind of heat protectant. And then I'm going to spray on some leave-in conditioner just to give it some thickness and body. This leave-in conditioner is by Trevor Sorby and it's really, really good. I'd really recommend it. It's only about five pounds. I'm gonna put on my heat protection glove. This is really, it actually fits really well, but I've got really small hair. I'm gonna take random sections of hair, so I'm not gonna do it in any particular fashion. I'm just gonna sort of add to my natural waves. I'll show you on this small bit just how it turns out. I quite like the way it wraps around differently, like it doesn't fall into the grooves. I've definitely got this heat protection glove on the wrong hand. I should probably have it on the other hand. So as you can see, I'm just grabbing random strands of hair and just spiralling them round, just to give me a bit more of a natural look. Okay, on some strands I'm just gonna do like the ends and stuff, just to give it a bit more of a volume. spiralled on the side that I haven't. So this side is a lot more spiralled mess and this side is literally just a mess. So I'm just going to go ahead and start taking some sections on this side. A little tip, if you are doing the front sections, if you always curl starting away from your face, I really like how that one's just turned out actually. So I'm just going to start taking some bigger sections just because I really want it to look quite messy. I think this tool could be quite good if you want to create like a really um, glamorous look as well because of where the spirals fall, if you wrap larger sections it could give a really nice effect rather than just being like a big mess. And again on this side I'm also just going to start taking bits and just doing the ends. And wrap over the top of the ball. Which creates a bit more of a messy wave. I 
and then to turn off you simply flick the switch. Got this handy little stand which I've noticed that a lot of products do have now so when you rest it it sits on that so it doesn't touch the floor. So there you have my THX tutorial how to create messy looking spirally waves with the THX spiralicious curling wand. I'm actually really happy with how my hair's turned out. I quite like that it's got the spirals but it's also got sort of the more out of control waves in there. Um, I think I'm probably going to start using this tool on a more regular basis because I really like the look. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, give it a big thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to like and subscribe and everything else. And if you'd like some more hair tutorials, let me know and I'd be more than willing to do them because I really enjoy doing hair tutorials for some reason, especially like simple ones. Because sometimes maybe what I'd perceive as a simple hairstyle, someone else wouldn't. So I quite like being able to help people in that way.